Hey there, beautiful souls, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're diving into the topic of self-care, specifically self-care for depression. In this video, I'm gonna be focusing on easy tips to help you navigate those low moments when you're feeling depressed. So trust me, I've been there. But remember, you're not alone. In this video, I'll be sharing some of my own personal, easy self-care tips to help you navigate the low moments. So let's jump right in. Tip number one, journaling. Writing down your thoughts and feelings can be incredibly therapeutic. Grab a beautiful journal like this one and let your pen glide across the pages, pour out your emotions, hopes, and dreams. It's definitely like having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with yourself. Do this twice a day, in the a.m. and before bed. What did you dream about? What was the quality of your sleep? All that good stuff. What did you think about during the day? How did you feel during the day? Were you ever triggered? Just give a clear scope as to how your day was. By journaling, you give yourself space to process your thoughts and emotions. It's a chance to reflect, gain clarity, and release any negative energy. Plus, it's a wonderful way to track your progress over time. As William Wordsworth beautifully expressed in his poem, Joy of Nature, he said, Nature never did betray the heart that loved her. Let's embrace his words and embark on a journey, on a journey of healing and renewal. Let's get into the next tip. Tip number two, go outside. When you're feeling down, sometimes the best medicine is the great outdoors. Step out into nature, breathe in fresh air and soak up the beauty that surrounds you. Don't have to be in this beautiful um, thousand year old forest. You don't have to do any of that. Simply going to your city park works just fine. Nature has this incredible way of grounding us and reminding us of the beauty that exists beyond our worries. Whether it's a walk in the park, a hike in the mountains, or simply sitting under a tree. Let the healing powers of nature work its magic. My tip for number three is don't isolate yourself. I know it's tempting. I know how tempting it can be to withdraw whenever you're feeling low, but it's important to resist that urge. When we isolate ourselves, we let our depression tighten its grip. But when we reach out or we remain more present, it's also important to remember self-care is not always going to be easy, especially if you are in a depressive episode. It clouds your motivation, but by incorporating these simple practices into your routine, you're taking small steps towards nurturing not just your mind, but also your body and your spirit as well. And my next tip is to document your victories for later. When you're in the midst of depression, it's easy to overlook the small wins and accomplishments, but it is absolutely crucial to celebrate and acknowledge your progress. So grab your journal and write down your victories, whether they be big or small. So each time you have a depressive episode, when you're in the midst of being depressed, it's easy to overlook the small wins and accomplishments but it's crucial to celebrate and acknowledge your progress. Grab your journal and write down those victories, whether they be big or small. By documenting your victories, you create a tangible reminder of your resilience and strength. For those tough days, flipping through these pages can serve as a powerful reminder of what you've overcome and the progress you've made. Get good quality rest. Sleep plays such a vital role in our mental and emotional well-being, especially when dealing with depression. So establish a calm nighttime routine, create a cozy sleep environment, and prioritize getting enough rest for each night, even if it requires you to get a little bit more rest than you're used to. Give yourself that grace. Quality sleep has been known to improve mood, 
increase energy levels, and enhance overall mental resilience. Remember that your rest is just as important as your productivity throughout the day. So give yourself so give yourself permission to recharge and rejuvenate yourself through a peaceful slumber. Set time limits and watch some feel-good TV. Find shows and movies that bring joy, laughter, and inspiration into your world. Movies or TV shows, this can be a powerful tool to help you escape your daily stresses and a source of positive energy. So grab your favorite blanket and cozy up on the couch and, and let the feel good vibe wash all over you. Grab some popcorn and just get cozy with it. You know, just take advantage of some time to be removed from your world or your environment for a little while. It can be something that you look forward to at the end of each day. Social media can be a double-edged sword especially when you're feeling down. Take control of your online experience by filtering your feeds to see more positivity. Take this time to unfollow accounts that trigger negative emotions and seek out content that uplifts and inspires you. By curating your social media, you create a digital environment that promotes positivity and uplifts your mood. Surround yourself with accounts that spread love and inspire you. Social media should be a source of encouragement. It shouldn't be a drain. So remember my darlings, self-care is a journey and it looks different for everyone. Find what works for you, be gentle with yourself and know that brighter days will come. I hope these tips inspire you to prioritize your well-being and find great comfort even in the darkest moments. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more empowering content. I'll see you in the next one.